everybody, welcome back. I apologize for the light coming through the window. I usually have something up that blocks it, but it's somebody took it down, sorry. I got a lot of requests from you guys to show you what a regular week of dinners looks like for my family. What I make for my family when I'm not doing the extreme budget challenges, when I'm not doing these specific dinners for videos, and y'all just wanna see a regular week. I've done a couple of these in the past, but it's been a good hot minute, so let's go. I'm going to show you what I'm going to make my family for dinner this week. Just living our normal, everyday life and not doing it specifically for a video, even though it is for a video. Y'all get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to do a grocery haul or nothing like that because I have a lot of stuff already in the house, and I've just been buying stuff as I see it on sale. I'm not done like a specific grocery shopping trip. This week, I just, I have what I have when I see something that's a fantastic deal. I get it. It's just, you know, I'm just vibing with life right now. This is requested by Ryder. I was going to make something totally different, but this is what he wanted. So, we're doing uh, the comfort food, the cheeseburger melts. If you haven't tried this meal, yeah, I did it. I made this last in a comfort meal video probably almost a year and a half ago. It's due again for anybody who hasn't seen that. You need to make this. It's delicious. I'm taking my own horn here, but it's so good. So, pound of hamburger, mate. We're going to start cooking this up. I've been making french fries homemade lately, but Brayden has an obsession with tater tots right now. So... We're getting tater tots today. We'll start cooking up this hamburger meat. By the way, my chickens have been hiding eggs. You'll see. Right there. Nothing's deep. <laughs> I got a lot of eggs. What we gonna do this week? We're gonna have breakfast for dinner. I've got to make some eggs. Drained my hamburger meat. Drained pretty good. And I'm going to put a splash of milk. I'd say about a fourth a cup of milk. And don't worry. If it's a little watery, that's good. Because it is going to soak up in the buns. I'm adding some garlic powder to taste. Some black pepper. Just as much as you want. I'm going to be doing some onion powder. A pinch of salt. My cheese is frozen, but we're going to throw in five chunks of cheddar cheese. I bought a bunch of cheese on sale a couple weeks ago and I froze it, so. But it's fine. I actually think I want to add another splash of milk. It looks a little dry to me, and I like it to be a little wet because that sauce is really good in the bun. Now, in a casserole dish, I put six buns. Why six? I don't know. Um, it just tends to be the perfect amount for six buns. <laughs> so, so, I use six. Um, I use the ice cream scooper lately to make sure it's even. All right. Now it's all pretty much even. I want to put my almost thawed out cheese. Okay. Now, the buns. Like so. Melt you some butter. I melted a half a stick. Probably too much, but I'll save the rest for something else. And you're just going to brush it over the tops of your cheeseburger melts. Don't skip this step. You need to do it. It helps the buns from drying out and getting too crummy. Okay, now we're going to pop this in the oven until everything is all melted and pretty. They're done. Easy peasy. And our, our tidy tots are done, so this is dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. These are busting. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, look at that. These are like the best things ever. 
But that's dinner tonight, y'all. Mmm. That was really good. Mm -hmm. That is so juicy. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Let's just look up close. She's popping. She mm -hmm. popping. Howdy besties, day two dinner. I'm just making some. I, this ain't nothing that I've ever did. Um, I mean, I have, but I'm making it up as I go. Got this chicken at Aldi, 50%. Oh, baby, two gigantic chicken breasts. Seasonings. I'm using garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cumin, and a sasson goya. Tortillas. Sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to mix this in with the chicken to make it creamier. And I'm going to try to do like a chicken quesadilla top thing. I'm going to dice up this chicken breast real fine. Well, kind of real fine. And um, we'll start with one. Trim off all the icky. Heating up some oil in my iron skillet, my gigantic iron skillet. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, probably a teaspoon, same amount of onion powder, same amount of paprika. Half the amount of cumin. We are going to do a packet of Sasson Goya. I'm not adding any salt or pepper because this is salt. I think the chicken is done. To make it creamy, I'm going to put a big dollop, probably a third of a cup of sour cream. And I am going to put some of my homemade salsa. Like three spoonfuls. over here on the griddle. I have a little bit of oil on my griddle because I'm using corn tortillas and I think it tastes better when you use a little bit of oil. I'm using olive oil. I'm going to make some mini chicken quesadillas.
are done. See what they look like? Let's rip it open so you can see up close. Oh yeah. Look at that cheese. Oh yeah. Flip her apart. Are they good though? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet either. I'm going to try it with you. One, two, three. Mm. That's good. You look scrumptious. Thanks. Mm. I'm very good. Thanks, honey. <laughs> I'm very good. <laughs> okay, buddy, how do we feel about it? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm dipping mine in a little bit of spicy ranchero and it's pretty good. All right, everybody. Ryder was in charge of dinner tonight and this is what he made. I didn't record it. Braden helped him, by the way. Braden's day is Monday to cook dinner, but Ryder wanted him to help him. This is what he was in charge of. I didn't record him making it because... He was doing his own thing, and I didn't want to overwhelm him or anything. What is it called, Ryder? It's chicken garlic parmesan pasta. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. That's good. What would you critique? What? Nice. Chicken. Hello everybody, it is dark in my kitchen because this light right here is so bright it makes me look like a big white marshmallow for real. So, for dinner tonight, we're going to do homemade chicken parmesan my way. It's probably not the authentic way, my way. I found some reduced chicken breast at Angles. Probably going to use one or probably going to use two or three of these. I'm not really sure it's going to how big they are. Probably two if they're, they're normal sized. Now, everybody tell me to try this. And it's so expensive, I ain't never tried it before. But it was on sale at Ingles when I went the other day. And they had a coupon. All right. So I was like, this is the cheapest it's ever going to be for you to try it. Just go ahead and try it so you can see what everybody's talking about. Got the Reos marinara. Everybody says this is so good at once you go to Reos, you'll never go back. No matter how expensive it is. I doubt that doubt that but i am gonna try it because i found it on a deal this ended up being about three dollars with my coupon and the sale so i'm okay with that not really because i can get it cheaper but i'm okay with it i dug out some green beans some fresh green beans some corn on the cob that i got from the garden last year i've been letting it thaw out on the counter see what else am i gonna use Parmesan, breadcrumbs. We're gonna do dinner. Let's go. I'm gonna start by mixing up the bread, and I'm gonna be using Italian breadcrumbs. Dollar Tree has the best deal. Being generous, cause I don't know how much I'm using. I always normally have to refill, cause I don't pour enough. Okay, so in with that, I'm gonna toss in a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. Go in with a pinch of salt, a little bit of oregano, just a lip, little pinch, a little pinch of black pepper, probably a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm gonna set this aside after I mix it up, and we're gonna use this here in a minute. Next step, I'm gonna crack two little eggs in here. I'm just going to whisk these up and set it aside. I'm going to drench my chicken breast in this. Do I want to do a little bit of milk too to thin it down? I think I will. A splash of milk just to thin it down. There we go. 
Okay, this is a, this is a pretty big chicken breast. I'm gonna cut up two and see what it looks like and I'll decide if I wanna use three. Okay, I'm just gonna trim off all the ick and butterfly these cause one chicken breast is way too thick and too much for one person. Alright, I'm going to use half of another chicken breast. Just half. Not a whole. I'll put the other half aside for something else later. Okay. Now when I do uh, Italian chicken cutlets, I beat these thin, but I don't want to do that for my chicken parm. I just, I just don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these into my egg mixture. I'm gonna let these soak for about five minutes. Why? I don't know. I just am. <laughs> for the green beans, I'm gonna bake them because Colin seems to love them this way and if he's gonna eat a vegetable, I'm gonna do it, you know. Throw in a little bit of olive oil. few pinches of salt because green beans do need salt and rodeo ranch walmart sells this in the grilling section for around five bucks it lasts absolutely forever i swear bad beans i'm just going to cover this in some rodeo ranch i'm just going to toss these around and i'm going to put them in the oven on 375 bake them for about 20 minutes all right, over here, I just threw my corn in, water, we're going to boil it, just like usual. And I have about a fourth cup of olive oil over here and a little bit of butter. And I'm letting it heat up so we can fry the chicken. All righty, it's starting to get heated up pretty good. I'm going to start with my chicken. All righty. Just going to grab a chicken breast. And gritter. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start covering it with the sauce and more Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to pop it in the oven with those green beans. I'm going to pop it in the oven and let the cheese get all melty. Chicken parmesan, done. Corn on the cob, done. Green beans, done. <laughs> and here's dinner, plated it up. We got the corn, the green beans. It's very hot, very steamy. And we got the chicken parm. Let's go. Hello, kiddos. How do we feel about dinner tonight? It's delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Good, Bray? Mm-hmm. How we feel about it? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Is it? Oh, you passed out. Oh, oh my goodness. 
How do you feel about that pasta sauce? Is it spectacular? Is it any different? It tastes like the pasta sauce. That's that Rayo's, that expensive kind. You can't tell a difference? No. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it. <laughs> it's no different. <laughs> Tastes like Audi marinara sauce. Howdy everybody, we're doing dinner tonight and tonight is a regular. We have this probably once a week anymore cause it's the boys favorite. Ryder and Braden love it, Colin loves it. So it's, it's pretty much weekly nowadays. Um, we either do it meatless or with meat. It's just whatever we're feeling for the day. You guys have seen me do this a bajillion times and I'm sorry, but it's a regular and it's something that we're doing for dinner tonight. Beans. <laughs> um, we're doing burrito bowls. We love salsaritas. We love chipotle. But I'm not paying that at all for a burrito bowl when I can make it at home for a fraction of the cost. Last time we went to salsaritas, I told y'all this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's just that ridiculous. Um, It was over $75 for all of us to eat. We went for like a birthday dinner or something. Oh, yeah. No, I ain't doing that. It's fast food! No! But anyways, we're gonna make this. So, buy these at Angles when they're on sale. Buy one, get one free, freeze them, and they will come in handy. It's what I do, so I laid out two. I got just one left, so I hope that they have a good sale sometime soon. So, I'll show you what we got. Go so, on. I'm gonna use bowl and bag rice. It's faster than just regular rice, but it tastes better than instant rice. So we're gonna do some boiling bag rice. I'm gonna heat up these black beans. We got sour cream for a topping, tomato, lettuce. I need to hurry and use this lettuce. It's gonna go bad soon. Um, we got some white queso today. Dug out some corn, I'm gonna heat this up. We have some short cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna be using these Purdue shortcuts. You can get these on sale for around $2 and a few cents. $2.50, something like that. No. Like two forty four. dollars I think it's two forty four dollars a piece when they're buy one, get one free at Ingles. So, definitely, if you have an Ingles, make sure to check it out. Look at their ad every week, and you can stock up on these babies. All right, let's do it. Burrito bowl. All right, over here, I'm just going to start boiling this boiling bag rice. I swear, it's so much better than instant rice, y'all. So, we're going to get that going. I'm just going to steam the corn in the microwave to get it hot because that's what the bag's for. And I'm going to utilize that because it's past. Okay. I put some olive oil in the pan and I'm going to just heat up these Purdue shortcuts. I'm not going to add anything to them. I'm just going to cook them. Do I want to add taco seasoning to this chicken? I don't know. I'll think about it. Back here, I'm just going to start heating up these beans. I'll probably put a little taco seasoning and the beans too. Black beans are my favorite. I'm just using one packet. There goes my microwave. Okay, I'm just gonna use this one packet and divide it amongst the black beans and the chicken. And that should do, that should do curly seed. The best lazy dinner ever, but it's still so good. I wanted to put a little bit of water in this to help that seasoning spread out some. It's okay, the water will cook out every time. Ooh, it already smells good. Okay. Get all this heated up. I'm gonna go ahead and dice up my mater and put it in a bowl. My washed mater, by the way. Some people ask me a lot, do you wash your produce? I never see you wash it. Yeah, I don't feel mad, that's boring. All right. 
gonna fold down the shredded lettuce so it's easy to get into. There we go. Sour cream. I'm about out of sour cream. This will have to do. That's enough because not everybody likes it. Okay, set that there. I gotta heat up the queso cheese. Just laying this down and everybody can just grab the cheese when they want it. My corn is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the white queso. Okay, corn. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> I think the chicken's done. Smells delicious. The beans, the beans are done. They heat it up in six minutes. Now I just gotta wait on that rice to get none. And dinner's already done and it didn't even take me 15 minutes. Here's all the toppings. We have tomatoes, lettuce, a little bit of sour cream, some cheese that I spilled, corn, and shredded cheese. Also have some black beans that I seasoned with taco seasoning, some chicken that I seasoned with taco seasoning as well, and we have that rice. We are ready for dinner and it did not take 15 minutes. Here's little Collins. Everybody else's. <laughs> we actually have stuff in ours. Ty, how we feel? Well, <laughs> Brayden, how we feel? Oh, God. Daddy, how we feel? Good. Thanks. Ryder? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Very good. Oh, that's doing up close. Yeah, look at that. I have a major surplus of eggs, so we're going to do some breakfast for dinner tonight. I never keep buttermilk in the house because I only use it for biscuits. So I'm making the homemade buttermilk by using a couple caps of vinegar, white vinegar. And you just let it sit in your milk for about five minutes and it makes it buttered milk. Now this Formula L Southern Biscuit Mix is awesome because it has the dried bits of shortening and butter in the mix so all it is is self-rising flour but they dehydrate the shortening and the butter and they put it in the mix so you don't have to add it yourself which is absolutely amazing see the little bits there's some shortening and there's a little piece of butter so this is absolutely awesome and they make the best biscuits, by the way. So if you have this biscuit mix in your area, try it because it is just so, so stinking good. And I like to take like a little spoonful of sugar because that's what Cracker Barrel does. And Cracker Barrel biscuits are bomb. And this makes them taste pretty much like Cracker Barrel biscuits. I swear. And I'm just taking my dough whisk and I'm mixing it up. And I am taking some shortening and I am oiling up, greasing up a pan so the biscuits don't stick. This is an absolute necessity for when you're baking some biscuits. Like seriously. Now my buttermilk has set for five minutes. It's ready to make some biscuits. So I'm just going to mix this up real good with my dough hook. By the way, if you're wondering where I got the dough hook, I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's really awesome for any kind of dough. I love this thing. I use it mainly for my sourdough bread, but it works for every kind of dough there is. And that little shaker right there, I love it. I fill it with flour and I flour my surface and it doesn't just clump it up in one spot. It's, it's amazing too. Um, but so I just cover my hands and I pat out my biscuit mix and i finally got me a biscuit cut biscuit cutter oh my good griefness i cannot even talk i got me a biscuit cutter finally y'all i found one at the lodge cast iron store so just gonna be making some pretty little round biscuits now if you don't have a biscuit cutter let me tell you what i like to do as well um you see i patted out those biscuits on the counter well when I don't have a biscuit cutter, I pat it out on a pan, and I just cut them in squares, and it works so good. I just wanted some round biscuits tonight, so, I mean, you can you can try that. It really does work, and they cook evenly. I swear, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I guess I just wanted to make a mess tonight and cut biscuits like this. And if you spin your biscuit cutter around in circles, it makes the perfect biscuit with that leftover dough. You just fold it up just like that and you put the biscuit cutter over it and just do that, do that, go around in circles. And it makes a biscuit with a leftover dough. Bake on 450 for about 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Now I'm just taking out some real thin pork chops from the deep freezer. And I'm just going to make some pork chops for breakfast tonight. So what I like to do when I season pork chops like this, when it's just for breakfast, just like going with eggs and, and biscuits, I just do it real simple because I want to taste the pork chops. I do a little bit of salt. I also add a little bit of pepper. Gonna go in with some onion powder and a little bit of paprika. No garlic powder because I don't want any garlic with my breakfast. So I'm just keeping it simple like this and I'm just going to fry them. Fry? Is that fry? I'm gonna cook them in the iron skillet. When I tell y'all I have a surplus of eggs right now, I ain't joking. I have so many. They're coming out my ears, which I'm very thankful for. I'm very thankful that my chicken are finally laying again. But, you know, I have a lot of eggs. So, I'm cooking a dozen, I think. I'm cooking a whole dozen. And it didn't even make a dent in my eggs right now. I think tomorrow night we're going to have to have some eggs too somehow. I don't know. I just got to do something with these eggs. So, all I do with my eggs, I just salt, pepper, I keep it real simple, too. Simple is always good, you know. And we're just going to whisk that up and set these eggs aside until the pork chops get done. And now, normally, I don't make gravy with pork chop dripping. But tonight, I was feeling a little frisky. I was like, yeah, I'm going to make some gravy with pork chop dripping. So, I'm doing that. I'm just removing the pork chops. From the skillet, and I added about three tablespoons of butter, getting that all melted up there. And I pre-measured four tablespoons of flour. Uh, All-purpose flour is what it is. And I'm just going to dump that right into the iron skillet. Now, if you don't cook your roux for about two to three minutes, your flour is going to taste kind of raw, and it's not going to be too good. So just keep whisking and keep whisking the roux and let it cook that flour a little bit to get that raw flour taste out of there. I swear it's just not very tasty if you don't do this part. And the longer you cook it, the more brown it'll get and the browner your gravy will be. If you like a light gravy, do it very minimal. If you like it darker, do it a little bit longer. And I just added a quart of milk in here going to go in with a little bit of salt and pepper going to keep whisking this up until the gravy is thick now you notice i'm not cooking my eggs or anything else yet that's because i have to keep an eye on my gravy i like to cook everything else after the gravy because i just the gravy has my full attention <laughs> that gravy's done so i got two skillets here now if you have a lot of eggs you're cooking like i'm cooking a whole dozen um one of those pots right there like the dutch oven type pots now that's the best for cooking a lot of eggs it won't splash out now you're probably wondering what that big old mess is um last year i went to amish country we went on a little weekend trip and i got a bunch of peaches from a little Amish store and I brought them home and I froze them and I remembered them and I got them out and I'm just making like a little compote out of those peaches and I was like heck yes it's gonna be delicious I went in with just a pinch of salt some cinnamon some cinnamon I can't even talk and a little bit of brown sugar and I'm just gonna let it keep reducing and I'm just gonna start making my scrambled eggs over here simple easy peasy lemon squeezy I added two pinches of brown sugar to that peach compote. And honestly, I'm, I was going to make these like fried apples, but peaches are so juicy. That wasn't going to happen. So we got a nice little peach compote and it kind of tastes like a bit of a peach cobbler. Yeah, I don't know. It's really good though. Breakfast dinner is done. Got some nice little fluffy biscuits, scrambled eggs, homemade gravy. It's a little brown, delicious stuff over there. We got some pork chops, simple pork chops. Some of the 
peach compote I made, some strawberry freezer gel I made this past spring, and some honey butter. Dinner is served, y'all. Now, don't that look so pretty, y'all? Dusty wanted his peach compote over top of a biscuit with a little bit of honey butter. Is dinner good, boo-boo? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have you tried your peaches and biscuits yet? Save up for last. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, I'm not sorry. Ryder decided to make him a big bowl of just everything. <laughs> Is it good? Um, Braden hasn't made an appearance at the table yet. How's dinner? Good. Okay. Braden, how you feel about dinner tonight? I'm pretty good. Howdy. I look like doo-doo. It's okay. Um, we're on day seven, and I still have 4,900 million eggs, it feels like. I boiled up some eggs. I'm going to make some simple egg salad. <laughs> yep. It's one of those nights that I don't feel like cooking. And I have a ton of eggs. I'm going to utilize them. That is the word of the day. Utilize. I've used it a hundred times. I don't know why. Um, but when I make my egg salad, it's just so simple. The kids love it this way. It's the most simple thing you've ever seen in your life. Eggs, mayo, salt, pepper. <laughs> That's it. That is it. Completely it. Um, it's nothing special. Just get it to the consistency a lot and egg salad for dinner. And I'm probably going to might chop up some fruit to go with it on the side and go to the pantry downstairs and haul up uh, a box of little bags of chips I get at Costco. Um, we've not dug in those in a long time, so I'm going to do that. Here's my sample egg salad. <laughs> Y'all, it was just mayo, salt, pepper, eggs. And I chopped it up. That's it. Yep, here's tonight's dinner. <laughs> I was going to cut up some fruit, but everybody wanted some little sprinkled tomatoes. And I remembered I had some cucumbers, so we popped those on the plate. Just a big heaping pile of egg salad on, on bread. And there we go. We have dinner, of course. I had to cut it in half in little triangles. Hello. All right, buddy, tell me if dinner is good or not. I mean, it's egg salad. You love egg salad. Mm. Egg good. Thanks. Simple, but is it okay that I did mm. it simple tonight? Really good. How you like dinner tonight, baby? Mm. Oh, he passed out. Where's Ryder? What happens to Bessie? He made an appearance. Good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Brayden said... These green things taste a little like cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was what I fed my family for seven nights on our regular everyday budget. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, today was extra super lazy, <laughs> but it's real life. That's what it is. If you make any of these recipes, I hope you enjoy them. I love you guys so much. I will see you next video. Remember, as always, be positive and kind and happy, and I love you. Bye.